morning everyone. Sub Ed Port All here with my 148 scale DeBoer Skipjack, which is the USS Shark SSN 591. This boat uh, I've owned since 1994. This is her current configuration. She originally started life, uh, he was constructed by Jim Wheeler and he had the standard DeBoer running hardware, which I converted to uh, the WTC system, the uh, WTC three and a half at the time from d and &E Miniatures, and it had the adjustable crank. So, uh, then I went with an annular ballast tank system, which didn't last very long, because I decided for ease of maintenance and um, uh, construction as well as operation I about five years ago decided to go with the S3 diver boxes um, which are rated to 80 feet and they're clear polycarbonate. She has um, two uh, seven and a half amp hour 12 volt AGMs which gives me about 14 amp hours total capacity seven and a half amp hours so about 15 amp hours total, seven and a half amp hours total, um, uh, would say a safe operating time. Uh, under test, I sure she, I see she draws about one amp underway. So theoretically, I could run this boat for about seven hours without um, uh, any problems. And my submerged personal record is four hours and 45 minutes of periscope depth. Um, that was done at Lake Ronkonkoma doing many, many, many circumnavigations. The aft compartment is the drive compartment. It's a direct drive Redmond 12 volt motor, uh, HVAC motor. Here's the second battery. This is the command and control unit. More on that in a moment. She is a gas boat, the gas backup with a um, diaphragm pump for snorkel inlet. So you can serve gas and use only gas in an emergency. This is the um, 12 volt on off switch and up forward is the main power on and charging area. She is equipped someday when I complete the um, Mark 148 torpedo system to use that. The uh, ballast blow and vent servo is in the wet that is a high-tech waterproof servo. Runs fine, the other three servos are here in the command control. I recently switched over from the Radiolink AT10 with the Radiolink RD12 with telemetry feedback. I was very happy. I could see course, roll, and pitch of the submarine remotely on the uh, transmitter, as well as receiver voltage and battery voltage. So I can actually tell when battery was getting down there, the main battery, when it dropped down to 11.7 volts underway, I knew it was time to bring the boat in. The, uh, uh, I have recently acquired a Jetty Duplex 12-channel um, uh, radio. It's actually 16 because it's enhanced. And uh, the, the good thing about this radio is the receiver does everything. I've replaced it. There is no APC in here. The receiver does it. The receiver has pitch control. And I can also adjust the gain or the sensitivity of the pitch control from the transmitter, depending on the speed I'm going. And I also have core speed heading. But not only that, I now have current draw and battery capacity back at the transmitter. Okay? And um, it's actually a phenomenal system, and I don't know how well we can do it here, but we power it up for the um, testing. The transmitter is on. You can feel the boat up here. The boat is on. And the radio just told me that it is synced to the submarine. I'm now receiving a, a, one, a zero from nine, uh, antenna strength nine from both antennas. 
the above antenna, the submerged antenna, and the running on the surface antenna. I have both antennas running. Uh, the pitch for now shows me it's at a negative four degree down angle. She's rolling slightly to port at uh, 2.5 degrees, and the yaw is zero, which she's almost pointing north. Uh, the onboard temperature of the receiver is about 102 degrees. Okay, I'm receiving 12.9 main voltage. Uh, the capacity is a little off because it has to learn it all at this time. But right now, it is telling me the sub is drawing 0.1 amps. Now, once she's in the lake, I'll be able to read all this information while she's underway. That's the beauty of 2.4 gigahertz. It's not for everybody. I'm not going to say this radio isn't for your average user. But if you have a large boat and you love bells and whistles, this is the way to go. So now we'll conduct a test. Okay? Ahead one third, maneuvering eye. Okay, the prop is fo going forward. All stop, maneuvering eye. The, the, the boat is off. Back emergency, maneuvering eye. And the boat is now in reverse. Now I'm going to test the low pressure blower. Okay. I now have the dive. Oh, that, sorry, that was a blow. And here's a dive. And that's pretty much it. Of course, we have standard. I do my setup a little different than most people. I run it like a standard submarine. Helmsman, Fairwater Plainsman on the right. Stern Plainsman is on the left. And the enunciator or engine bell control is on this wheel right here. So I can control all, most of my functions with a single thumb back and forth. And basically, that's it. In a few minutes, we'll see her running in the water.